Carlos Alcaraz versus Rafa Nadal is the second semi-final of the Six King Slam for 2024. Both guys have had totally different seasons this year. Nadal enters this tournament as number 153 in the world, the 12 wins, seven loss record after an injury plague season. And of course, now we know is his final season on tour. His best result was the final in Bostad where he took out a couple of seeded players along the way, eventually losing to Borges in that final in straight sets. But the way that Rafa had been playing before that, we didn't expect anything like that from him. So it was great to see Rafa making one more final in his final season. His best win was actually against Demonor in Madrid, the number 11 in the world at the time. He beats him in straight sets. And his worst loss actually came at the start of the year against Thompson, who is 55 in the world. So even though Rafa hasn't played that many matches, it's still been pretty good. And his form, of course, his last match being at the Paris Olympics, where he lost to Djokovic. So he has had pretty good form on the clay courts, which has been the majority of his season so far. Alcaraz enters the tournament as the number two in the world, with a win-loss record of 51 wins and 10 losses for the season. His best win, of course, coming at Wimbledon with that straight sets performance against Djokovic. Of course, you can put the French Open as well, which was a great result as well. But I would say that that Wimbledon result was way more impressive, especially beating Djokovic in straight sets in a Grand Slam final. That doesn't happen very often. However, his best win actually came a couple of weeks ago, beating the world number one Yannick Sinner in the final of Beijing, which was a very close matchup. His worst loss actually came at the US Open, which was a couple of months ago now, losing to Van der Zandtrup, number 74 in the world at the time. Very unexpected result. His form has been really good, of course, making the Shanghai quarterfinals. He did lose them a hatch in the end who ended up having a pretty good run throughout that event. But of course, won Beijing, beating Medvedev and Sinner along the way, and also was the man at that Labor Cup. So since he's lost that Van Der match, he's been in really, really good form. These guys have played three times before, with Rafa leading 2-1 in the head-to-head. -head. However, they haven't played in over two years. And of course, that one was in Madrid, that quarterfinal, where Alcaraz really made a name for himself. But Rafa did get Alcaraz a couple of times early in their careers before Alcaraz really took off the way he has been in the last couple of years. If Rafa's going to win this one, he needs to play a little bit more aggressive than maybe he's used to playing because he can't just rally against Alcaraz. Alcaraz is going to out rally him or at least outrun him because of course with what Rafa has been dealing with with the hip. We saw at the Netflix slam when they did play previously that he just couldn't move with Alcaraz. So Rafa is going to have to be more aggressive and get off to a better start than he has in most of his matches this year. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to just play like he's been playing. He played so well against Runa in that first match. Runa did play a little bit more competitive in the first set, but after that, it was all Alcaraz. Of course, Alcaraz has only lost one match in his last, what, 10 or so matches. So he's going to be feeling confident. Great to see this match one more time. Of course, of course, remember the loser of this match will play the loser of the Djokovic versus Sinner match and the winners will play each other in the finals. So it's not over for the loser, but I have to go with Alcaraz in this one in straight sets. I just think Alcaraz is going to be too aggressive for Rafa and I don't know how Rafa is going to look physically on a hard court. We've seen him on a hard court a couple of times this year. He hasn't looked great. He's looked much better on the clay, but this is into a hard court. It's not his favorite surface. I'm going to go Alcaraz in straights, make the final, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.